for a fact that Karine Jean-Pierre doesn't like you at all. But don't feel bad because she despises someone else more. She really dislikes a specific reporter from Africa. His name is Simon Atiba. He works with Today News. He's had a lot of hostile encounters with Karine Jean-Pierre for some reason. Yesterday, she freaked out on him and stormed out of the press conference, ending it early. We've kept track of this weird psychodrama going on. Here are some clips from it. She's asking about the origin of COVID. I hear the question. And Dr. Fauci is the best person to answer that question. I hear your question, but we're not doing this the way you want it. This is the disrespect of me. It it is. I'm done. Simon, I'm done. I'm Simon, I'm done. I'm done with you right now. So what's the difference between President Trump not doing anything while the Capitol was being attacked and President Biden not doing anything while protesters, uh, while the Supreme Court justices were under attack? To say that there is no difference, that is, uh, that is just unbelievably wrong. But is it concerned that Supreme Court justice I'm, I'm, have- I'm moving on. I'm moving on. You don't give us questions. Okay. I, I'm trying to answer your question. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I just tried. You wouldn't let me. Go ahead. I just tried, and you would not let me, sir. So your colleague is going to ask a question. Go ahead. No, I just, I literally just tried to answer your question. You shut me down. So now your colleague is going to. Let me ask the question first before you Okay. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a good thing she's unarmed or Simon and Tima would be in deep trouble. He's his correspondent for Today News Africa and obviously kind of a hero. He joins us tonight. Simon, thank you so much for, for coming on. She, I can, you can feel it watching that tape. She is mad at you. Why do you think that is? Yes, uh, first of all, thank you, Tucker, for having me on your show. There's a reason why uh, your show is the most watched show in news in the U.S., because you bring people like me. It's been a disaster, a total um, uh, catastrophe, a real nightmare covering the Biden White House. Right now, I'm the voice of Africa in the U.S., but I can confirm that um, the level of discrimination against me and against African journalists in the White House is outstanding. It's disgraceful. You know, uh, it's been three months that we don't have questions at the White House. Even as President Biden is about to receive 50 African head of state in D.C. for the U.S. African summit, she didn't even give us even a single question. I've been trying for the past three months. And, you know, it's shocking because she's black. She's an immigrant. I'm black. I'm also an immigrant. And she's discriminating against me more than the white people who were, the white yes. lady who was there before. And it's, it's, it, it's shocking. She should be ashamed of herself for doing that. And, and, and it, it, it's heartbreaking. She's obviously a bigot. You can see it in her face. She really, really dislikes you. Do you suppose it's because you don't have the same views that someone who looks like you should have, in her opinion? Yes, so it, I believe that has to do maybe with two or three things. The first thing, I sound different. I wasn't born here, I was born in Cameroon. I speak French, I speak different languages. I don't have the American accent. I tried, I failed, and I've decided to stick with my accent. Uh, so I'm an immigrant and she doesn't like that. And I ask tough question. For instance, I will ask her, how is, it, how is it understandable that President Biden is inviting 50 African heads of state to the U.S. who will spend almost $50 million each, and you, he doesn't have five minutes to spend with each of them. He won't have any one-on-one with any of those African presidents who are coming here in countries where money is already a big problem. Why not have this, uh, this meeting on Zoom, for instance? You know, uh, and so I ask questions about COVID. How do you explain that one million people, if we have to go by the official figures, one million Americans were killed by COVID, and we don't know where COVID came? You lied to us. You told us the, the, the COVID came from bad to human, and then now we understand that it probably came from the lab, and that's the most consequential question. And she wouldn't even allow... Diana from, you know, Daily Caller to ask that question. And when I intervene and say that, no, you need to allow her to ask the question, you know, I'm being blacklisted and it's unfortunate, it's disgraceful. Well, you are always welcome on this show and I suspect we will see you again. Simon and Tiba, thank you so much. We're on your